Howdy guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond back again with my 500th day on the ketogenic diet. You know, did some people say this wasn't very sustainable? Because for 500 days, people have been able to watch me go from BBW to on my way to Keto Cutie. <laughs> I've got about another 80 pounds-ish I want to lose. And a little more, but we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> So this is what I ate yesterday, all the keto-friendly stuff that you can enjoy every day. Check it out, and I'll be back with my way in and what I did today. Hey, y'all. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like my videos, hit that thumbs up button and make me feel good. So I'm breaking my fast at uh, 1 o'clock with some chili cheese dogs. It's uh, Bunker Hill chili. Some shredded cheese melted into the chili. Uh, what are these called? Oscar Mayer uncured hot dog franks. I got three of those and some mayonnaise and it's very yummy. <laughs> okay guys, so just another boring cheeseburger salad and I'm hungry so let's do it. Okay hey guys, so I'm having hella cravings tonight and I'm trying to get myself full and you know when you get in the state you can't really fill up as easy. So I'm having a small bowl of salad. I've had four of these Bridgeford uh, natural style smoked sausage sticks which are actually pretty awesome. For uh, two links, it's one carb. So I've had two carbs out of this. That carb is from cane sugar, which does not affect me like maltitol or um, maltodextrin or circulose does. So it's actually worked. Oh, it works pretty good with me. So it's 11 grams of fat, 7 grams of protein. These are actually pretty awesome. And of course, there's no MSG, pork, beef, sea salt, chopped parsley. The cane sugar, natural flavors, which could be where they get you at. Spices, vinegar, and roasted garlic. And these are really good. And I got them at Dollar General for less than four bucks. So they're really good, really filling. Yummy. <laughs> and I'm eating my salad. That's how y'all had two boiled eggs? If not, I did. Covered in salt. <laughs> well, guys and dolls, I might have overdid myself a little bit this week, uh, today rather. So my normal calories are 1,454. Sorry about that. Today I was 2,066. Carbs came in at 17, fat 178 grams, and protein 97 grams. I feel very, very over full now, which is funny because I couldn't get full earlier, which is why this happened. <laughs> okay, so guys, I went outside with my grandson. I lasted about three minutes. My boots are not tall enough, and I had nothing but sand in them. He's still out there, but his daddy's out there with him, and they're <laughs> snowball falling, fighting, and he's doing snow angels, and I think my dad's out there cleaning off the porch with his dog. So, um, really, Jake? I mean, it's bad enough the cats get under there and knock stuff off, but you have to do it, too. Hello? <laughs> That's my Christmas tree that you're knocking things off of. <laughs> Couldn't bag it up. Couldn't pull it forward. Just got it stuck. <laughs> Guess who's home for the day? He can't get the car out of the yard, thank goodness. <laughs> I tried. A couple of people think they have strep throat, so we are at the hospital because urgent care is closed. Sad. <laughs> Say hi. Do you think you have strep throat? Yeah, throat. You've got a throat. That's good to know. Hey, also, sorry this is coming to y'all so late. Um, it's been a busy day, kind of. We were snowed in first thing this morning. Hubby couldn't get to work. He was stuck. He was trying to back up, go forward, everything. The car was just stuck. The blazer finally rolled out probably about 11 or 12 today. Um, and it was stuck for a few minutes. I had to keep moving all around to try to get it out. So our road was a mess at first um, when we left. The ruts from big trucks trying to get through there. But by the time we got back from the hospital, and I'll explain that in a minute, we got back from the hospital, the ruts were gone and it was no big deal. Woman driver, don't trust what she says. At least I got out of the yard. And being snowed in is a good thing, as long as the power don't go out. That's right. Um, and that's what we were mostly worried about is the power going out. But anyway, um, so I, I was able to make it out today. 
at like I said, 11 or 12 o'clock. And uh, by the time we got back from the hospital, this road had been plowed. So it's mostly safe now. Of course, by morning it'll be black ice and all that. Yeah, yeah, it was plowed before I got home. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> but I took Brian, uh, Zachary and Destiny to the hospital today. Zach's just got a small virus. He's fine. They believe they don't think it's any kind of strep throat. They did do a test. Destiny, however, does have strep throat. I'm hoping Zach's like me and his daddy, where he seems to be immune to because. We've never, um, we've never had it, even though everybody around us has had it and drank after us and everything else. So, it's just one of those things. My daughter gets it quite easy, so she has to stay away till Destiny's been on those antibiotics at least uh, 24 hours. So, you know, and Zach needs to kind of keep the distance too a little bit. Just in case he can't get it. So, 500 days on keto, how amazing that is. Let's just talk about some of the things that's done for me really fast because you got to give back. When something does that much to change your life, it's amazing and you have to talk about it. So, I mean, getting rid of type 2 diabetes, getting rid of high blood pressure and the, the dragon scales on the bottom of my feet. Who would have thought that was diet related? Getting rid of the sinuses infections, the ear infections and all of that. The scales were diet related. They had to have been. They well, went away on the well, I mean, they went away almost instantly. My feet healed almost instantly. They were scales. He used to pull the scales off the bottom of my feet. They were bad. And now they're just soft as they can be. And they have been since I started keto. So, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how else to explain it other than being diet related. Because it had been like that for years. And, uh, <laughs> pretty awesome, right? Um... What else has it done? I mean, so many things. I have so much energy. I, just being able to breathe and not having constant sinus and ear infections, not living on antibiotics just to feel half-ass alive. Um, being on blood pressure medicine, because those things made me feel dead. I hated everything. So that's a miracle in and of itself. Um, being able to keep up with that little rowdy-ass four-year-old grandson back there. Y'all hear him on his iPad? Yeah, we don't mess with him when he's happy. Don't. <laughs> um, gosh. There are so many things. You know what? Hold on a minute. Okay, so I've got a book of all scale victories. I wrote that stuff down as I noticed it. And of course, some of the stuff, like the, the dragon scales on the bottom of my feet, I didn't notice until a few weeks ago. And I knew that they had cleared up and went away, but I didn't really contribute it to this. But it's this. It's got to be. Um, I mean, I used to use, I have like a foot file that's electric. Looks like our electric razor to deal with those things, and that didn't work. And lotions and soaks and it, all kinds of stuff didn't work, and this does, so you know, whatever. Um, no more snoring. That could be due to weight loss or diet, whatever, but it went away. No more sleep apnea. I don't. Every few minutes now. It, I'm not a danger behind the steering wheel. I can fit behind the damn steering wheel now. <laughs> Um, I don't sleepwalk anymore. I haven't sleptwalked since I've started keto. Thank heavens, because I was waking up all over the place. I used to be a sleep eater, which kind of sounds amusing, but a sleep eater will eat anything they can. I need to show you something. What do you need to show me? This? No, you can't show me that while I'm watching it, doing a video. He's got these, like, Timmy Turner videos that are just loud and obnoxious, and that would bust your eardrums. So, <laughs> I, I don't even know. But yeah, the sleepwalking's gone, the sleep eating. Like I said, you'll eat anything. I know one night, and, and this was at least safe to eat, um, I dreamed that I ate uh, a bunch of cake. And the next morning I woke up, my dad's raising hell. Who ate the topping off this cake? I ate the entire sheet of topping off a cake in my sleep. Um, but a sleep eater will eat. I mean, if it's laying there, they'll eat a Brillo pad. It's just if there's no food available. So it's weird, but crazy. No more exploding head syndrome. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's not as bad as it sounds, but it's bad. You fall asleep and as you're drifting off, you'll hear a woman scream or a shotgun blast or an explosion. Just anything to make you just jar out of, of deep sleep. And it sounds like it's real. Uh, the first time I experienced this, we were on our way to the beach. I was asleep in the car when my husband drove. I kept hearing explosions and car crashes. It was, it was terrifying. I'd wake up with, what happened? What happened? He's like, what the hell are you talking about? So, you know. Um, 
no meds, being off all those meds. Um, so that's awesome. My dog wants in the house. I'm going to have to let him in. I'm about to let that dog in. It's Sorry about that, guys. So going through multiple ring sizes, this used to be a size 6 finger. I mean, size 9 finger. This is size 6 now. Okay, this ring here would have fit here. Maybe a little snug. <laughs> that's awesome. Going through clothes sizes left and right, starting at um, a size too tight, 26 jean, down to a size 12. Can't beat that with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> Quickly, too. You can beat anything with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> you can't beat anything for a 10-foot pole because it, be, it might be 11 foot away. Shut up. You move a foot close. <laughs> I thought you were going to say your arm length would reach. It would. Like, <laughs> you know. Liking exactly. mirrors again, that's nice. Having a lap to sit stuff on without your belly taking it over, that's awesome. Uh, not having to have super long purse straps because it won't fit over your fat little arms. Um, just so much stuff, guys. Not feeling like I'm going to die tomorrow, that's great. Um, people being able to pick me up and lift me because before I was like, I gotta lose weight or I'm going to have to be like, um, what do you call that? Maybe the coffee would be too heavy. So, you know, I know it's morbid as hell, but when you're that large and that unhealthy, you think about that kind of stuff a lot. So, but anyway, y'all saw what I did today, what I ate. Um, and, and if you watched, you noticed that I know that I got uh, injured the other day. I fell off the porch before it even snowed. So, that was just being klutzy completely. Busted my butt, hurt my ankle, my wrist, and my neck. So I took some ibuprofen twice yesterday and my weight just shot up. So at the moment I'm holding 5.2 pounds of water weight. My lowest weight was 199.8. Today I was 205 even. But it's okay. The only bad thing about the water weight is it takes a few days to get off. But I've been peeing like a slumbish today so we should be good to go. But keto has done so much for me. Finding this way of eating has done so much for me. The keto community, people I talk to and enjoy watching, have done so much for me. You guys commenting and being there and supportive, they have y'all have done so much for me. So I cannot thank all of you enough for what you've done for me. So if you need my help, all my contact information is in the, the description below. I have a free website anybody can go to. It's called ketodiamond.com, one word. Um, everything's written out as plainly as I can with a complete foods list. If you need to know anything, ask. I have no problem answering my emails. I have no problem answering you on Facebook. Ask. I have no problem answering the comments either. So, speak up. It's okay. <laughs> much love to each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all all so much for being here with me. Even you new folks, I know you don't know me yet, but you'll get to know me. I'm insane, but it's awesome. So, I hope. Much love to you. See you soon. By the way, no. Bye, y'all. See how chubby I am this morning. Stop. Oh, good lord. Happy perfect. <laughs>